Let's read the story. Cinderella In a kingdom shrouded in the mists of enchantment, there lived a young maiden named Ella. She was known far and wide for her kind heart, luminous spirit, and unrivaled beauty. However, fate had woven a tapestry of both joy and sorrow for Ella, a story that began with the warmth of a loving family but took a turn with the arrival of an unexpected chapter. Ella's mother, a beacon of grace and compassion, passed away when Ella was still a child. Left in the care of her bereaved father, Ella's world seemed to brighten with the arrival of Lady Tremaine, a woman who entered their lives with promises of love and familial unity. But as the pages turned, Lady Tremaine revealed her true nature, a heart hardened by bitterness and jealousy. Lady Tremaine brought with her two daughters, Anastasia and Drizella, whose hearts mirrored their mother's unkindness. The once happy home became a place of anguish for Ella, now reduced to the role of a servant. Lady Tremaine, resentful of Ella's natural beauty and kindness, bestowed upon her the mocking moniker of Cinderella, a name that spoke of the cinders and ashes that clung to her from the hearth. As Ella's father's health declined, Lady Tremaine's true colors emerged fully. With his passing, the household that had once been filled with love and laughter turned into a dreary abode where Cinderella, clad in rags, endured the scorn and disdain of her stepfamily. Yet, amid the gloom, Cinderella found solace in the company of the creatures that shared her humble dwelling. Mice scurried through the corners, and birds sought refuge in her presence, forming a bond that spoke of the enduring magic within her heart. As the kingdom buzzed with the news of a grand royal ball, an invitation arrived at Cinderella's home, setting into motion a series of events that would change her destiny. The royal palace, adorned with opulence and grandeur, was hosting a ball to which every eligible maiden in the kingdom was invited. Cinderella's stepsisters, in their eagerness to attend, demanded her assistance in preparing their gowns and styling their hair. Despite the cruelty she endured, Cinderella willingly obliged, sewing and stitching, ensuring Anastasia and Drizella looked resplendent for the ball. When she inquired about attending the event herself, Lady Tremaine callously dismissed the notion, leaving Cinderella alone in the dimly lit kitchen, a tearful yearning in her eyes. But in the unseen corners of the magical realm, where the benevolent forces stirred, a fairy godmother named Serfina observed Cinderella's plight. Recognizing the purity of Cinderella's heart, Serfina decided to intervene and weave a touch of magic into her life. On the fateful night of the ball, as Cinderella's tears fell, a shimmering light filled the room. Serfina appeared before her, a vision of radiant enchantment. With a wave of her wand and a sprinkle of stardust, Serfina transformed Cinderella's worn rags into a breathtaking gown, complete with delicate glass slippers. The magical transformation continued as Serfina, with a twinkle in her eye, turned her attention to a humble pumpkin in the courtyard. With a touch of magic, the pumpkin transformed into a magnificent carriage, its golden wheels adorned with intricate designs that sparkled like constellations. As the final touch, Serfina conjured glass slippers, translucent and gleaming like crystalline stars. With her magical friends, the mice and birds, by her side, Cinderella, adorned in the splendor of magic-woven elegance, stepped into the awaiting carriage. This evening, my dear, the grand ball eagerly awaits, and the stars themselves shall marvel at your radiance, Serfina declared, her voice resonating with timeless wisdom. Yet, heed this counsel, the enchantment will fade as the day concludes. Before the midnight bell tolls, you must depart. The pumpkin carriage whisked Cinderella away, leaving a trail of stardust in its wake. At the royal ball, Cinderella's entrance became a celestial spectacle, drawing gasps of admiration and whispers of awe from all who beheld her. As the night unfolded in a symphony of enchantment, Cinderella danced with the prince, the world around them fading into insignificance. However, the enchantment that granted Cinderella this fleeting joy had an expiration. At the stroke of midnight, she reluctantly left the palace, her hurried departure leaving behind a single glass slipper. The carriage transformed back into a pumpkin, the gown into rags, and Cinderella vanished into the shadows. The next morning, news of the mysterious beauty at the ball spread throughout the kingdom. 
The prince, captivated by Cinderella, was determined to find the owner of the glass slipper she left behind. The royal heralds went from house to house, and when they arrived at Cinderella's home, her stepsisters tried in vain to squeeze their feet into the delicate slipper. When it was Cinderella's turn, her stepsisters mocked her audacity. However, as she slid her foot into the glass slipper, the kingdom held its breath. The slipper fit perfectly, and Cinderella, once a servant in her own home, now stood as the rightful match for the prince. The prince, recognizing the kindness and grace that set her apart, took Cinderella as his bride. As they exchanged vows, the kingdom rejoiced, and even Cinderella's stepsisters were left in awe of the magical transformation that had elevated her from rags to royalty. In the years that followed, Cinderella and the prince ruled the kingdom with compassion and wisdom. Cinderella's stepsisters, having witnessed the consequences of their own cruelty, underwent a change of heart and sought forgiveness. The once dreary household, touched by Cinderella's enduring kindness, transformed into a place of harmony. And so, the story of Cinderella became a timeless tale of resilience, kindness, and the transformative power of love. Cinderella's journey, from the ashes to the throne, inspired generations to believe in the magic that lies within and the possibility of a happily ever after, even in the face of the harshest circumstances. The End Please subscribe to the Teddy Bear Storytime YouTube channel and select to receive all notification. Thank you.